Hello, my name is Jen. I am the Unorthodox Healer. I'm based in Scotland in the UK and this is a general tarot card reading. It is designed for anyone who has Pisces as their sun, moon or rising sign. You're very welcome here. This is being recorded um, on the evening of the, um, the new moon on the 5th of July and we are just going to take cards that jump out and see what we get because I only take cards that jump out. I don't like to um, tempt my own um, fate for taking cards so I just literally let them jump out as spirit wants them to and we will see as to what we get. So cards, a few more cards for Pisces please. So this is designed for around the full moon um, in July, sorry the new moon in July. However, um, if this pops up on your feed another time, it might mean that there's something in here for you. So um, I suggest you keep watching. So let's see what we've got. The underlying energy is the Ace of Pentacles. And the cards that we have for Pisces are the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card, both of those are major arcana cards, oh, goodness me. Um, the Hanged Man is another major arcana card. Six of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. And I have one more. And that's the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of well, three three very big um, major arcana cards here, and some pentacles, some earth energy, and some emotional energy. And the underlying energy we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Astrologically, there's an awful lot going on. Not only have we got the new moon, which is time to um, make changes, get rid of uh, things that no longer serve you and to make plans for the things that you want to bring into your life to get them to come before the start of the full moon, which I think is the 20, so the 21st or the 29th of this month, then now is the time to be doing it. There's also lots of planets retrograde, so it can mean that things are, well, things are, um, not that, th that things can be, things are pretty stressful at the moment. Um, you might be uh, wondering what on earth's going on. There might be things going on in your life that you are just feeling like you're not in control of. It's a bit like me shuffling these cards. Um, and it's potentially quite a difficult time. So I have um, shuffled the other deck um, to see as to whether we can get some clarifiers. I think that I might put that one there, that one over there, um, and we'll see as to what we've got for clarifiers. Uh, whether this is the same amount of cards, we shall see. So the Wheel of Fortune, we get the Nine of Cups, which is a great card. Justice, we get another major arcana card, which is the Fall, which again is a beautiful energy. The Hanged Man, we have the Two of Wands, which suggests that you want to make changes in your life. The Six of Pentacles, we get the Queen of Swords, again more sword and emotional energy. For the Four of Swords, we get the Seven of Wands. And amazingly, I love Spirit because they absolutely give you the exact number of right cards that you need. Um, we have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. And hopefully you can see that the star is the um, underlying energy on the other pack there. So 
we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is love and happiness. At the opposite end, we have heartache, we have sadness, we have lots of emotions which are very much playing on your mind. The underlying energies are good. The star is about hope and that there is renewal coming. Water is always a sign of renewal. You can see that this is sort of a never ending. Can you see that? There's me pointing away. It might be off the end of the screen. There's this never ending um, cup of water here and they're, they're both replenishing. So you're, it's replenishing the water in your pool and it's also making the ground around you fertile. And this is you that's doing this. So again, this is another major arcana card. Underneath that, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Underneath that, you have the Ten of Wands. So I think things are changing for you. The Ace of Pentacles shows that there is an opportunity coming in and it's something which is already here. If this was sort of, if the hand was was over the other side of that, um, you know, somewhere down that path, then it would mean that you have to go on a journey to get it. But this is showing that this is already here. Whatever is going on here is potentially stopping you from being able to see it. So the Wheel of Fortune has the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is about having having everything that you need it's going to be a fair journey to get to the end of this um when you are showing that you have this heartache but we shall keep going and we shall see as to what happens. Um, sometimes these things are a bit of sleuthing that needs going on. You need to be a bit Poirot or Miss Marple if you're in the UK. Um, so you have the Justice and the Fall card. Justice isn't about getting justice. Justice is about being fair. And... She has a sword in her hand as well. And this is about finding yourself in a position where you are, where you're being fair to not only yourself, but to other people around you. It's, I wonder as to whether you're finding, you're, you're just struggling to find a balance at the moment. Perhaps this wheel of fortune, you can see that these people, everyone, everything moves around the wheel. You can see that, you know, he, he's sort of pushing down on it. He, it's resting upon him. Perhaps this is you at the moment. Perhaps you're feeling as though you need this wheel to turn. For you to be able to get to this point of happiness and for some reason it's just not happening whatever is going on with the justice card it it's it's a bit of a card which is sort of what goes around comes around the fall is a very innocent card He's about to walk off that cliff. His little dog's going, no, don't do it, Daddy. But he's going to do it anyway. He's too busy going, look at the sun. Look at the, look at the clouds. Look at the mountains over there. And, and he, he's just got no idea what's going on. I wonder if you're, you haven't been... Have you not been as fair as you should have been in a situation? Have you perhaps been a little bit 
too carefree in in this happy situation that you've been in I think that this is that I, I was going to say I think that this is you in the justice card I, I'm not too sure as to whether this is somebody else that is feeling as though they haven't been getting balance in the situation with you I do think that this is you that you have been wanting to have balance that you don't want to be keeping going round on this wheel of fortune not that there's sometimes a lot you can do about that because if, if it's wanting to move then it absolutely will whether you like it or not but I do feel as though there's been some carelessness perhaps on somebody else's part not on your part Perhaps you just have been dealing with a fool where you thought that you were in this situation and that maybe you're not anymore. But good things are coming. Well, they're already here. You just can't maybe see them because you're in this turmoil at the end. The next cards we have are the Hanged Man. I should say as well that the Major Arcana cards, if you don't know, are much stronger, heavier, longer lasting energies in your situation. The Minor Arcana cards um, are much more temporary feelings. The Hanged Man is backed up with the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about wanting change. You might have ideas about things that you want to be doing, places you want to be going. Just, you know, he's he's got the, the world in his hand. He's got this one wand here. I don't know whether you can see that this is attached to the wall. He's merrily holding on to this one. He's turned his back on that one. And he's looking at the world that he's got in his hand, looking out to sea, kind of dreaming about what his what what he wants to be doing with himself the hanged man is really about seeing things from a different perspective if somebody has been playing sort of fast and loose with your emotions and perhaps you haven't had the truth or there hasn't been a fairness in a situation then this is saying try as much as maybe you don't want to try and see it from a different perspective was there a reason why this was happening not related to you i think that we are quite quick to blame ourselves in some situations we're also quite quick to blame others, but I'm still wondering as to whether this is your energy, as to whether you're blaming somebody else for a situation. Perhaps it's something that's fallen through that you you thought was going to happen and and hasn't. you you need to you need to just hang fire these I, i'm sort of seeing these trees they they're almost as though the ones that are here have been cut off of these trees that the hanged man is hanging from almost as though this is a period where ideas and dreams have been curtailed or they've had to be put on hold. Perhaps this was something that you had planned when you you were in this nine of cups um, sort of happy, happy situation. But again, don't forget, you've got great underlying energy. This possibility here of a new start and the star is all about hope and and the renewal of things. The next two cards we have are the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. The Six of Pentacles is about being generous and 
being very being able to see things clearly perhaps if you spend some time hanging around thinking about things from somebody else's perspective rather than your own then you will be able to have this generosity of spirit because you'll be able to see things more clearly see things for what they really are She's sitting here, she's got her head above these really thick grey clouds and that shows that she's, she's got her head out of the clouds and she's, she's being able to see things for what they really are. The Four of Swords has the Seven of Wands with it. The Seven of Wands shows a gentleman who is stood on higher ground and if we kind of panned down we would see that there are there are people there with wands trying to trying to poke him with them and so he's very much on the defensive he's on the higher ground so he's safe up there but he's 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 not taking his eye off them the four of swords says that you you need to take your eye off them this is about you needing to rest you your you spirit has your back it's interesting because the 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 three of swords here you can see that here it has three three swords through through this heart and it's about upset and suffering and about loss you know just being upset over whatever it might be you can see here that in the four of swords there is this heart this one here and it doesn't have the swords in it. What it does have is it has swords over the top of you, almost protecting you, and two swords at the bottom. It shows that you need to rest, that you need to take time, like here, that you need to take time to step away from this defensive position and re reclaim who you are and what you're about. I think that we all are, are quite often, because of things that happen to us, we are quite often very defensive, that we're wondering as to whether something's gonna to happen to us again. But you're on higher ground here, you are safe, and it's saying because you're safe, that you, you have to rest, you have to take some time out. Maybe it's for your heart to heal because these two cards are very much saying that you are still feeling this, this sense of loss and pain and it, it, it's hanging over you. If you rest and you see things from a different perspective, then I think that you will get the justice that you want and the wheel will turn back to this hopeful situation again. Because there's definitely new opportunities coming. The Ace of Pentacles is showing that there are new things coming to you, whether that is wealth or happiness or that your health is going to improve. But you've definitely been through or you're going through something, Pisces, don't be hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Spend time seeing things from a different perspective and why it happened and everything will, will work out. I'm just going to take a, um, I'm going to do an oracle card um, from John Holland's Spirit Messages as well. Just to see as to whether um, Spirit wants to give us a bit more guidance or not again i only take cards to jump out kind of card for pisces well that was quite a few cards but we will take the one that landed face down and it says you are not alone we are here for you we never left through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you we are your family friends and guides you never walk alone, we walk right beside you. 
that's a really beautiful sentiment, Pisces. And I think that when when things are feeling as though they're getting to you, remember that you absolutely aren't alone. You are loved always, whether that be by your dog or your chickens or your mum and dad. Even if they're not here anymore, they will always love you. And spirit is very much there. We have angels and archangels and guides and so much that we can't see who have our backs and are looking out for us. So please don't forget that. So the future is beautiful. You have hope, you have renewal and you have this really beautiful new opportunity available to you. So hang in there. This is just temporary and good stuff's coming. I'll speak to you again soon, Pisces. Stay safe. Don't forget to get rid of anything that you don't want during this new moon phase and ask the universe for, for, for these, these opportunities coming in. Bye.